Hello everyone, and welcome to Bizarre Movies. Today we will recap a horror thriller movie, in which two teenage girls are kidnapped by a psycho gang, and they try to take advantage of them. But before we start, a gentle reminder, that this is just a movie explanation and we encourage you to watch the full movie. Spoilers ahead, watch out and enjoy. The movie begins with the two police officers. They are transporting our main antagonist Krug to a different prison. But as they are at a stop, waiting for the train to pass, a high-speed car hits them from the side. Then we see Krug's girlfriend Sadie and his brother Frank. They are his gang members, and they have come to free him from the police. Police officers get badly injured as a result of the accident, and Krug executes one of the officers, by tying his seatbelt around the officer's neck and strangling him to death, while forcing him to look at a picture of his children. Krug is full of pure evil, brutality, and psychotic behavior. In the next scene, we see a young swimmer girl named Mary. She wants to become the best swimmer in the US, and she is practicing swimming with her mother, Emma. They are planning to go on a vacation in their lake house outside the city. Then we see Mary's father John, who is a doctor at a reputed hospital. The Collingwood family leaves the city for the vacation and Mary is driving the car. After reaching the lake house, Mary requests her parents that she would like to stay in the guest house, and that she will not mess up anything. Her mother agrees. After moving to the guest house, she gets upset because she is missing her elder brother Ben, who died recently in an accident. He loved her sister a lot, and had gifted her a locket as a lucky charm. To uplift her mood, she goes outside, removes her clothes, and starts swimming in the lake. She completes a round and returns to her room. After this, we see Mary taking bath and getting dressed because she is going to meet her best friend from the town. She then requests her mother if she can take the car to the town to meet Paige, and she will return by evening. Emma is reluctant to let Mary go, as they have just arrived there, and she had plans for some quality family time. But John is okay with Mary going out as that will cheer her up. He hands over her car keys and some cash. She drives the car to Paige's general store, and they start talking about some girl stuff. We then see a young boy Justin, listening to their conversation secretly and watching Mary and Paige. After some time, he approaches the counter and asks for a pack of cigarettes, but Paige doubts that he is underage and she should see some ID first. The guy introduced himself, and offered the girls some marijuana from his motel in exchange for cigarettes. Both girls agree, and they go to the motel in Mary's car. Paige goes inside to get the stuff, while Mary waits outside in her car. After getting jump scared by the sweeper, she decides to check on Paige and Justin. She discovers that Paige has just dumped her and begun smoking with Justin. Paige offers her to join them, Mary initially resists but soon she eases out and the trio starts to enjoy the time. In the meantime, Mary receives a call from Emma asking her to return back, as there is a forecast for a very bad storm. But Mary suggests that she can just spend the night with Paige. Emma is not okay with that, but they could not talk further due to bad reception. Later the trio starts getting to know each other, and Justin becomes their friend. Mary asks him about his family. He tells them that he is living with his dad, uncle, and dad's girlfriend. Mary asks him about his mom, but Justin discloses that his mom died a few days ago. Mary becomes sad after hearing this because she also has lost someone recently. Hearing all this Paige begs to change the subject, and proposes that they should do Justin's makeover to give him a cute look. Then the trio can be seen giggling and having a good time together. But their fun party comes to an end when Justin's father, who is Krug, arrives with his gang. And soon a happy scene is changed to a tense situation. Sadie and Frank start molesting the girls by touching them inappropriately. Krug is also enraged and punches Justin for bringing two random girls into his motel room. His photo is on the front page of the newspaper for killing two cops and being a wanted man. Girls can be seen frightened by all this. Paige tells them that they will not inform anyone about them. Both girls beg Krug to let them go. But Krug has made up his mind and he cannot risk letting them go. Paige tries to run away from there and locks herself in the bathroom. She tries to make a phone call, but Frank catches her and bangs her head on the wash basin making her unconscious. Mary requests Justin, to tell something to his father and asks him to let them go. But we can see that he is just a scared kid, who has experienced his father's violent behavior since childhood. Frank and Sadie decide to take them somewhere else. As they are driving, Sadie and Frank again starts molesting the girls and want to excite them. Mary notices that they are going to the same lake house road. She decides to do something before it's too late. Mary takes the car cigarette lighter and burns Sadie with it. She decides to jump from the car, so she can inform her parents and the cops. Her action causes panic in the car, 
and Krug loses control of the car and they meet with an accident. As a result, Frank's nose is broken, and they start beating both girls mercilessly. Paige again tries to escape from there, and Sadie and Frank go after her. After a brief chase, she notices a factory. She screams for help, but Frank and Sadie again capture her. What an unfortunate day for girls, nothing is working out in their favor. They remove her top and bring her back to their leader. Krug then asks his son to be a man, and asks him to pick one or both girls and hug them. Krug and Sadie hold Mary down and again ask Justin to hug Mary. He forces his son to touch Mary, but he does not want to do anything with her. Paige calls Krug pathetic. After hearing her words, Krug focuses his attention on Paige and starts torturing her. In the end, Krug and Frank stab her repeatedly, and put her down to let her bleed to death. After Paige, now Krug grabs Mary and throws her next to Justin. He starts tearing her clothes down while Sadie holds her legs. He then hugs Mary. She cries in pain and calls Justin for help, but he is scared. All Mary can do is look ahead at her friend Paige, who is slowly bleeding to death in front of her. Justin picks her locket, because he knows that his father is going to kill her after this. After Krug is finished, Mary takes the opportunity to hit him and escape. She uses her swimming skills to dodge all bullets of Krug. But this evil person somehow manages to hit her with the bullet. We can see Mary unconscious in the water after bleeding heavily. The trio decides to return and leave her, believing that she's dead. Storm has come and it starts raining heavily. Since Frank's nose and car are broken, they decide to take help from the lake house nearby. They've come across Mary's lake house. They don't know anything about the Collingwood family. After explaining that there's been an accident, the family is welcomed into their home by the good-hearted couple. John being a surgeon fixes Frank's nose and put a bandage on it. Frank, however, starts gazing at Emma with evil eyes. Emma gave them coffee and told them to stay tonight in their guest house. But before they leave for the guest house, Justin spots a picture of Mary on the fridge and realizes that these are her parents. He gets very emotional after this. He decides not to let his psycho family know about this, otherwise, they will kill her parents too. Instead, he leaves Mary's locket on the kitchen counter. After the family leaves for the guest house, we see that they were unable to kill Mary, and she swam all the way back to the house and crawled to her house. Emma informs John that this family is so weird, and Frank was looking at her in a disgusting way. John tells her to lock all the doors if she is afraid of anything. Suddenly, both of them hear a noise of knocking on the door. They go outside and find Mary injured. John realizes that she's been shot, and decides to operate on her immediately. He gives her CPR and starts surgery with the help of Emma. Emma goes to get water from the kitchen, and finds Mary's locket there. John also realizes that something bad has happened to his daughter, and begins to cry in agony. He informs Emma about the bad thing that happened to their sweet daughter. He immediately removes the bullet from her body. Emma also informs him about the locket. She tells John that when Mary went out with the car, she was wearing this locket but now it is in the kitchen, she thinks Justin has put it there when he was in the kitchen. They become scared and decide to go to the hospital immediately. John asked her for the boat key, and goes outside to collect some weapons in case of emergency. Emma is looking for the key to the house. Suddenly, Frank appears and requests some alcohol from her. Emma attempts to keep her cool and keeps Frank distracted by flirting with him, so he can't see Mary in the living room. After some time, he goes there and sees Mary, but Emma hits him from behind. He runs after Emma but she stabs him right in his chest. John returns to the house and attacks Frank by breaking his nose again. He then cuts his hand in the kitchen garbage disposal, and hits the hammer on his head killing him on the spot. To ensure the safety of their only daughter, they sneak into the guest house to finish others as well. They open the door of Krug's room and find Justin sitting in the corner, pointing Krug's gun toward them. Krug and Sadie are sleeping after a long hugging session. Suddenly, Justin offers his gun to John to finish his father and end all his difficulty. Sadie wakes up after hearing the sound of a gun loading, and John immediately shoots her in the shoulder. Krug dives out of the window to leave his girlfriend to die alone. Sadie also fights John and hides inside the washroom. She again attacks him, Justin tries to help John but she attacks him as well and knocks him unconscious. Suddenly, Emma finishes her off by shooting her directly in the eye, leaving only Krug as the final threat. Krug enters their home and finds the dead body of his brother. He does not understand why they have killed him so brutally and attacked them. But he puts it all together, figuring that this is one of the girls' house. He mocks John stating that he had so much fun with them. Then Krug looks outside through the window and sees Emma on the boat with Mary, and understands their plan. They eventually get into a fight. 
After some back and forth fight, Krug manages to finally get the upper hand on John. Krug tells him everything, including how he took advantage of his daughter, and how she was crying for help. John becomes enraged, and suddenly Justin arrives and points the gun at his father. Krug asks him to shoot and become a man. He pulls the trigger but the gun is already empty. Evil Krug now stabs his own son in the gut for attempting to shoot him. Emma arrives there with a fire extinguisher and hits distracted Krug with it. He becomes unconscious and both parents beat the hell out of him. But they do not kill him, first, they need to save their daughter. The couple then takes their daughter to the city for better treatment along with Justin. In the next scene, John returns back to the lake house. Krug is captive there and John decides to torture him in his own way. Through surgery, John paralyzes Krug's body from the neck down so that he can't move but still feel all the pain. John places his head in the microwave. He begs him to let him go, just like Mary was begging them. But John turns on the microwave. Krug starts feeling excruciating pain and in a few seconds, his head explodes. A deserving end to his evil personality. So this was the recap of the film The Last House on the Left released in 2009. If you like the story, then do watch the full film, and if you want to watch more such amazing recaps, then do subscribe to our channel and enable bell notifications to receive the latest regular updates. See you in the next recap.